Check it out, folks. I'm back at it again with another breakfast with AB. Now, check this out. Today, I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to make. And when I say easy, you can look down at these ingredients. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make just a breakfast skillet. Now, if you guys come on here and take a look, look, you just got to get yourself some sausage. I always use thick cut bacon, you know? Then look, you got bell peppers, potatoes is gonna be the, the main thing. And then we gonna go ahead and get the food police, the political people and everybody else about putting these eggs in there. Cause you know what? I'm gonna do mine over easy. Let's get it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, do my slices. I'll give you guys a little bit of a pro tip. If you put your bacon in, say like a cold cast iron and then you bring the temp up, that'll keep it more straight. Notice I don't have nothing down. I'm just gonna put these down like this. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but you gotta get yourself one of these splash guards, right? The splatter guard. Protect your counters, easy cleanup, cause there won't be no mess. All right, so look, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my bacon out. Now you guys cook your bacon however you want to. And then what you wanna do is get yourself a plate and a napkin, right? Cause we wanna absorb some of this bacon fat that you know, that'll be on here, right? We don't wanna just like put it all back into our, our food, right? So we just put it like this. And then when we are done with this, we're gonna go ahead and start working on our sausage. Okay, now we gotta talk about saving your bacon grease, right? Obviously I'm good here. Don't forget, we are getting ready to go into the holidays, so I'm gonna need all of this to make my food just super delicious, and I'm starting my second one. All right, so like I said, holidays, folks. I'm just gonna go ahead and just start putting those in just like that. Now remember, I'm using cast iron. Cast iron, you know, the heat has to spread, you know? So I don't know how many of you guys make these little link sausages like this, but these are, they, they outstanding. And I went with the maple version, so they, they like soaked in that maple. Mm, you can smell it. All right, so if you guys take a look, you know, we just brown them on all sides, right? You guys can roll them across like this. I see a couple of the, Mike can use just a little bit of browning, you know, like that. But for the most part, they really done. You don't want to like overcook them. You don't want them to be dry, right? I like my sausage to just be nice and juicy, right? So we look at them like this. And then to always make sure, for me, especially, you know, like I'm teaching, right? We just got to make sure. So if I stick this in here like that, get that back, 158, it dropped to 160. I mean, raising 165, that tell me, look, that's right. You guys got to get yourself one of these thermometers, right? These meat thermometers. If you pay attention, look, make for a great gift. And look, you see right there where it says smoking and grilling with AV? Go ahead and get it. They make for great gifts, folks. Check it out, folks. Now that's fire. Look at that. So I just put it down here in the center. Go ahead and close it, get it close to the center as possible down there. And look, just give it some elbow grease now you guys can cut your fries any kind of way you want to it's going to be a method to my madness i'm just going to set that off to the side after you see me cut these look and if you pay attention let me just put them like this i did them like this so you can also see i have four potatoes i cut this one in half so this one and this one make one and these are whole right so i'll just stick it over here like this the reason i cut them like that and i kept the skin on look you're gonna like this now you guys can cut them however you want to but if you take them, since we're going to make, you know, some, some home fries, like they're not really home fries. We just cubing them, making them like a hash brown type, you know, setup. Look at that. You see how they are? That's what you want to get. Look at that right there. Everything nice and hot. It just got a little splash from my gloves, right? So I'm just going to make sure I'm at a medium flame. You want to have it nice and hot, and then you want to make sure you rinse. So now... Now remember all that flavor we left in the inside of the pan? This is how it's gonna come out right. Right now I'm just trying to maximize, uh, all of it's not gonna go ahead and get in there like that. But this is gonna be enough. Now what you wanna do is keep it at a nice high heat, let it settle, leave it alone, and let it brown. I'm gonna be seasoning, I'll be using my original, listen, this is my AP seasoning, right? My AP seasoning is a little bit different than everybody else's. Everybody do that salt, pepper, garlic thing. I just ask you guys to give it a try, come back, 
and uh, let me know what you think or just read some of the comments, right? So you'll see, I'm not trying to overpower it, right? I just put a little bit on top of there. Now, listen, that's a low sodium product, right? So I know I just give it like a, just a generous, a couple of generous pinches of salt. Now I got both of these pepper meals right here. I just want to show you this white right here represent white pepper. If you're going for something with a little bit of a different flavor, I call this the ooey. This is more traditional. Everybody have it. This would just be the fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to do this right here because, listen, you can see it. And then I'm going to give it a stir, let it cook. You know, try to get some of these ones that's on the top, get them down on the bottom. You know what I mean? And then we're going to add our onions. Now, after looking at this, knowing that they almost about ready, now it's time to add our onions, right? You guys, look, I, I diced these a little small. A little bit bigger would have been nice. You know what I mean? Just remember, small dice is for flavor. Larger is for texture, right? So we'll just get this going and start working on that. All right, folks, look at that right there. That right there looks amazing, doesn't it? So look, now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down. You know what I mean? Just kind of like give it a, a chop. I still want to be able to see it. If you ask me, I probably should have made more bacon. And not to mention that everybody wants to like keep reaching in here. Like, ooh, let me try a slice. Somebody just had something that told me they don't even really eat pork. I don't understand that one. But anyway, also you guys, you can see that I'm using my knife, right? Look, smoking and grilling with AB. Listen, the holidays are coming. If you're looking for something sharp, you know, holds his edge. Guys, gotta check me out. Go by my website, check a look down at the description box below. Listen, uh, these are the tools that I use. I only recommend what I recommend, but this one right here is fire. Stainless steel, go on your dishwasher, the whole shebang. Right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these down like this. Now, I don't know about y'all, but they got a place that rhyme with penny. You know what I'm saying? I'll just leave it like that. You know what I mean? They got the skillets on lock. This one right here, I want to tell you though, they ain't got my seasoning, and this right here is fire, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a couple of little indentations right here. If you do the over easy or whatever type of egg you do, you're gonna need to have a lid. If you don't have a lid, get yourself some foil, put the foil over the top so it can steam and cook, right? So now we'll just put this here. I'm gonna grab this, and what we're gonna do is, we still got that medium flame. I got a little heat coming up off the bottom of here. Now we just go ahead and break them, right? You're gonna wanna take your egg and you're gonna wanna season your egg. I do. You guys can do it if you scramble them. You can season everything in the inside. Then when I come with my kosher salt, I just give it just a little bit like that. One pinch should do four eggs, right? We do that and then we just add the top and now we cook. I look at my eggs and let that judge for me too. And then plus I wanna let it, you know, take it off. Why? Because I want to, I don't wanna like super steam my, my uh, potatoes and I don't want them to be mushy, right? So now I'm gonna come with just a little bit of my, my cheese. I'm gonna put the top back on there, but we let a lot of the steam out already. Okay, folks, just from the residual heat, right? Let me just go ahead and take it off so you guys can look at it right there. As you can see, it's a little bit on the melted side. That's what I like. Now I'm putting a little bit on here because you know what? I love cheese. We got to have some green. You know what I mean? But look at this right here, folks. And you tell me, what do you think? Okay, so if you guys come on in and take a look at this now, I just leveled it up with a little bit of avocado. You know, I'm from the West Coast, folks. You guys see me wearing this LA hat? Yeah, that's right, I'm from Los Angeles. You know what I mean? And then coming from California anyway, everything just about got avocados on it anyway. So with that being said, got that. Got a clean cut and dice. Now I gotta take some pictures of this. I gotta take some more pictures of it, right? So I'm not gonna like really like destroy it. I kinda like, if you guys come in here, I want you to just like look. I want you to look at the integrity. You know what I mean? Just, oh man, I really want to go in there. Oh, got to get some of that too. I'll just put it on there like that. Oh, oh, and we got to get some veggies. You know what I mean? That's what I meant when I wanted you to see the integrity, like the veggies, the potatoes, everything is just cooked just right. And then with a little bit of steam, when you put the top on, listen, I feel like I'm over talking it. I don't want to do that, folks. So guess what? Hey, and then for the food police out there, be telling me I'll be eating over the food. Let me take a step over this way. You good? <laughs> Cheers. 
Now check it out, folks. I didn't put a whole lot, you know, when I got me a taste test, you know what I mean, to even really be wiping my mouth. You know why? Because I got to finish this up. But when I do, I'm finna devour this. Now, let's go ahead and start that debate. Talk to me about these eggs, folks. What would y'all do down at the bottom? You know, down in the comment section below. I know y'all gonna say something like a scramble. Tell me how many people grown is gonna eat at the table with me and we gonna do them over easy. Now, with that being said, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, check this out. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna hurry up. I'm finna walk out, let it in, and I'm coming back, snap my pictures, and I'm about to eat. Peace.